In this video, we're going to take a look at how to create side-by-side uh, -side columns in Word. Um, you want something on the left side over here and something that corresponds to it over here on the right. Uh, this is difficult to do with the normal uh, column feature of Word, which is on the Page Layout tab. Because uh, if you do that, everything flows from the left column to the right column on the same page. And what we want is we want stuff from the left column to flow into the left column on the next page and stuff from the right column to flow into the right column on the next page as well so that they stay side by side. And uh, so columns, the columns feature of Word will not do that. Uh, the tables feature of Word, as far as I can tell, won't do that because there's a limit to how tall you can make your uh, tables. And uh, so we're going to try to do this with text boxes. Uh, we're going to put a text box on the left, a text box on the right, and we're going to have the text box on the left um, flow into another text box on the left on page two, and the same thing with the text box on the right, and we'll just continue that for as many pages as we need. So let's get started here by, first of all, inserting a couple of text boxes. So I'm going to go to my Insert tab, go to Text Box, and I'm going to draw a text box over on the left side here. It doesn't really matter the size because the first thing I'm going to do is change the height to 9 inches. And I'm going to change the width to 3.25 inches. And that should give me a 1 inch margin at the top, 1 inch margin at the bottom, 1 inch margin at the left. And then if I copy and paste this, actually before I do that, you know what else I'm going to do here is I'm going to put, uh, I'm going to insert a vertical line. So let's go from here and hold the shift key down if you want to get a straight line. Actually, they're all straight if you want it to be vertical. And let's make that just a little bit bigger here. Um, so let's try this. Okay, and now I'm going to take my text box and I'm going to do uh, Control C here to copy it, and then I'm going to do a Control V to paste it in. And now let's go over here and draw this right next to the original one. And let's also see here if we can. select all of these. Let's see if we can group them together. And now um, here's the thing with text boxes. Um, I want to copy them onto page 2, but there's no page 2 yet. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take what I've got right now and cut it out. Do a control X to cut it out. And then I'm just going to fill several pages here with a bunch of enter characters, paragraph marks. And we'll do about five or six pages here. Okay. And now what I want to do is I want to go to the top of my document here. And click right here. And I'm going to do a Control-V to paste that back in. Okay. Um, actually, before I go any further, uh, I want to get rid of my borders here. Uh, so let's click on this and go to the, our format and let's go to shape outline and let's choose uh, no outline and then let's go over here and let's do the same thing okay and now let's let's try it let's select the whole thing here and do a control C let's go down to page 2 and do a control V Let's go down to page 3 and do a control V. Let's go to page 4. And I'm just going to paste it two more times here to get six pages, which is probably more than I need to show this. And there we go. Okay, now, um, if, I, if I put text in here, it's just going to stay in this text box. Even when I fill the text box up, uh, it will basically continue in this text box, uh, like, you know, drink below the board here where, you, where it's invisible. Uh, and that's not really what I want. Uh, what I want is I want it to flow from here down to here. And I've had problems um, doing this when I start at the top. Um, so I'm going to start at the bottom and, and kind of work backwards here. Um, so what I want is I'm going to take my next to last page here 
and I'm going to um, tell I want to create a link and the text box I want to link it to is this one down here and you know what that's not going to work if they're grouped so I'm going to uh, stop here and ungroup and I'm going to go down here and I'm going to ungroup and now let's go to page 5 and let's try this again. I'm going to break the link because I'm not sure what happened last time. Uh, create a link and then I get this little uh, picture it looks like here for porting data into another text box and now those two should be linked and now I'm going to go up here and I'm going to click on this one and tell it I want to create a link and darn it I can't do that. Um, hit escape. Uh, I need to go back and ungroup all of these first so let's click on there and let's do an ungroup and let's go up here and click on this and uh, click the whole thing darn it uh, click the whole thing and let's ungroup and let's go up here and click the whole thing and ungroup and let's go up to page one and come on click the whole thing and ungroup. Okay, now I'm going to go down to the bottom and I think I'll be okay. Um, so if I click down here in this text box, uh, that one has a link. See it says break link up there. And I'm going to click in this one and I want to create a link from here down to this one. And then I want to go up here and I want to create a link from it down to the one below it. And then I want to go up here and create a link from, I think I'm on page two, going down to page three now. And then I want to go up to this page, which is page one, and I want to create a link from it down to page two. Okay, now I've got to go over and do the same thing on the right side. So let's go over to the right side here and click in our bottom text box and actually go to the next to the bottom text box until we want to create a link to the one following. And then go up here until we want to create a link from page 4 to page 5. And then from page 3 to page 4. From page 2 to page 3. And from page 1 to page 2. Okay. And now uh, we need some text to try this out. And I happen to have uh, some text I've already prepared here. I've got some text I got from uh, Gutenberg, Project Gutenberg. And I've made some of it uh, alternating red and blue, red and blue all the way through. And what I want to do is I want to take the, the red stuff on this left column and pair it up with some more red stuff in the right column and same with the blue and so on all the way down the page. So I'm going to do a control A here to select the whole thing, do a control C to copy it to the clipboard and I'm going to go back to my document here and I'm going to do a control V. Now this may be more than what I've got room for on my six pages but it just copied into yeah, and it is a little bit more. So uh, I actually need a few more pages to make this work but uh, this is plenty to give you the idea. And now we're going to flip over to Huckleberry Finn and we're going to do Control A, which has also been uh, coded in red and blue. And Control A, Control C to copy it to the clipboard. Uh, flip back over to my new document here and do a Control V. And now let's uh, scroll through and Huckleberry Finn is on the right side here. And now all I need to do is um, if I, you know, if the thing on the left and the thing on the right are not the same size, then what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to put a few uh, paragraph marks in. Uh, now my paragraph marks aren't going to quite line up correctly uh, because of the space between paragraphs I think that I've got here. So I'm going to do a control A and it's just selecting this stuff now, but uh, I'm going to go to my page layout here 
and set my spacing before to zero, set my spacing after to zero, and then I'm going to go over here and do the same thing. Um, that should be zero, and okay, now I think uh, that all of my lines are going to be exactly the same height. And so now I've got the blue lined up with the blue, and then go over here and hit the enter key a few times. Whoops, I went one too far. Let's uh, delete that. And, um, okay, and then go over here, and it looks like all the stuff on the right side is longer than the stuff on the left. And I went a little too far. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're quite lining up there. I'm not sure. Um, okay, you got to push this down a little bit too. Okay, push this one down a little bit. It doesn't look like I'm going to have to push anything down on the right side. That's just the way it happened to work out. But uh, obviously you could do the same thing on the right side to keep things even. Oh, here we go. So... And then we're back over here and pushing stuff down. Looks like we've got a lot of red stuff over on the right side here. And that's the process. So um, set up as many pages as you need with the side-by-side um, -side text boxes. And... Um, and obviously, if you know if you run out of room here, you need to add more pages. Uh, just go to the bottom of your document here, and uh, okay, I'm outside the text box here. I think if I hit the enter key a few more times, I'll get a new page here, and then I can just uh, go and copy and paste some more text boxes. So um, that's one way to do side by side columns uh, in Word.